High above a sea of spectators on a slick slope of snow is a thin nylon tent. Inside, the racer stomps her feet like a bull and bangs her poles together. Only a plastic start gate stands between her and the 600-foot drop. Her coach yells and she catapults herself down the crowd. Smashing into plastic gates every second, switching foot to foot with awesome power. The crowd gets louder and louder. And finally stretching across the line. A new racer does it every two minutes. Watching in the crowd are a lot of young ladies. 11-year-old Catherine Truax is using binoculars. I kind of noticed that they skate out of the um, start to get a good start. Well, I just really want to race at a high level. 12-year-old Monica Griffith is from South Lake Tahoe. I want to be a racer. <laughs> like, <laughs> instantly, I, I just... Love skiing and yeah, just I want to do it. Thirteen-year-old oh, no. uh -huh. Sunny Struinski has never seen a race in person. It is so fast and it is just amazing to see. Because I want to do this when I'm older, so this is just amazing to see. I'm learning that you have to turn, like how they turn and stuff like that, so um, yeah. <laughs> that it is just so much fun and the energy is like something I've never been through before and it's amazing. I love it. 15 year old Anna Lee is from Portola. I'm learning like, like how aggressive they are and just to go for it. They just like, they don't care. They just go and they try their best. The World Cup winner was Michaela Schifrin. She said she was once one of those little girls. One of her only regrets was that she couldn't spend more time with the next generation of racers. Kai Plaskon, Reno Public Radio News.